pardon me if you could find the grace to. I just came from Mr. Marley's with a message from Mr. Scrooge. Well, I could give it to him. Oh, please, you can't, sir. I'm expected to tell you that Mr. Marley won't last through the night. And if Mr. Scrooge wants to take his leave of him, he should nip along shortly. Or there won't be any Mr. Marley live for him to take leave of at all. He's breathing rather queer when he is breathing at all. Excuse me, Mr. Scrooge. What is it, Cratchit? It's about Mr. Marley. He's dying, sir. Oh well, what can I do about it? If he's dying, he's dying. Well, the message was for you to go at once. It is now a quarter to five. The business of the office is not yet finished. I shall go when the office is closed at seven o'clock. Yes, sir. He'll come at seven. I'll try to get Mr. Marley to hold on that long. Much obliged. Have a good night. And a Merry Christmas to you, sir. The same to you. I hope you find Mr. Marley well, sir. I think that's highly unlikely. Yes, I suppose so, sir. Seems odd to think of the place without him, sir. Why should it be any more odd than it was with him? Hmm. We all gotta die, Cratchit. I suppose you'll be wanting a full day off tomorrow, as usual. If quite convenient, sir. Every Christmas you say the same thing, and every Christmas it was just as inconvenient as the Christmas before. Good night. Good night, sir. Who's that, the doctor? No, sir, the undertaker. You don't believe in letting the grass grow beneath your feet, do you? As is a highly competitive profession, sir. Is he dead yet? Have me another look if you like. Oh, don't bother, I'll go see for myself. Jacob. Jacob, well, have they seen you properly? Last rites and all that? There's nothing I can do, huh? Oh. What particularly? There's still time. Time? Time for what? Wrong. Wrong? Well, we can't be right all the time. Nobody's perfect. We've been no worse than the next man. You mustn't reproach yourself, Jacob. We were wrong. What? What? Save myself? Save myself from what? Speak up! One shadow more. No, no more. I can bear no more. Jacob Marley worked at your side for 18 years. He was the only friend you ever had. But what did you feel when you signed the register of his burial and took his money, his house, and his few mean sticks of furniture? Did you feel pity for him? Not on that face, Ebenezer. That's a rent scraping face. No. No. No.